Hey, my friends. How are you today? I hope you are well. Today is a great workout for back of the body, and you're just going to need some dumbbells. Cardio, core, and strength. All within 30 minutes. Very exciting. Ready? Let's do it. We're going to start with a kick across. Oh, how are you feeling? Hopefully good. If you're doing this first thing in the morning, good morning to you. And if you're doing this sometime throughout the day, good job, because I know it's hard fitting stuff in in the middle of the day. And if you're doing this at night, even more good job too, because let's go heel tap. By the end of the day, you might be tired. <laughs> you're probably tired. Well, good job still showing up. Whatever time of the day it is, good job. Oh boy, good. Okay, keep that belly button pulled into your spine. We're gonna definitely stretch through that area. I don't know about you guys, but I am always tight in that TFL area. Okay, let's go quads and chest. Start to warm up through those hamstrings because we're gonna be working those hamstrings today. So exciting. Good. There's four, three, two. Now, kicking it out, striking with your heel. So we're not swinging the leg, we're purposely kicking with that leg. Ah, feels good. Getting that blood moving. Awesome. Three, two, one. Let's punch across. A gentle punch. Ah, reaching, warming up through that back, stretching through the back. Good. So here's four, three, two, and reaching over. How are you? How how are your life choices going? Hopefully good. You're here. That's a positive. Life choice, moving your body, taking care of it. It's excellent. Here's four, three, and I commend you because sometimes people don't like to do videos that are online, workouts from online. So I commend you for showing up and, and just taking care of your body, even if it's not your most favorite thing to do. We're doing inner thighs here. And, oh, that's nice. We'll do a couple more each side. I also commend you for being consistent because that's not easy either, but you're doing it. Shoulders. Consistency is huge. One little change every day can impact majorly the rest of your life. So really great job being here. And other direction. Good. Oh, doesn't that feel great? Four, three, two, and now let's go to a lower back stretch, floor sweep, hamstring stretch. There we go. If you want to brace your hands on your knees to protect your lower back so it feels a little better, you can. But whatever you need to do, and Good. Okay. Now we're just going to do a little bit of a hip flexor here. Just a little leg swing to the back to stretch. Warm up, engage your glute a little bit and stretch through that hip flexor. So it's not a huge swing, but it's a purposeful swing. Good. Other side. If you need to hold on to a wall or a chair for that, please do. So abs are still engaged. Nice and tall here. And Good. Okay. So we got to get some, start warming up a little bit more. That was a dynamic warm up. Now let's do a more purposeful warm it up through the muscles. Hands uh, by your ears. And we're going to go into a good morning. So sticking those hips back, elbows pulled back, shoulder blades pulled together, abs nice and tight. We're just going to stick your hips back. Now, if uh, so, 
You want your flat, your back to be straight. You don't want to be rounding here because then it's just going to affect your lower back. So keep that, the chest up, stick those hips back. And if that's too much, you can always brace on your knees to help protect your lower back if you have lower back issues going on. Okay, so you should be feeling a nice stretch in those hamstrings each time those hips go out. We're going to do two more. Good. Hand. One. Okay, now we're going to go to a side lunge to start warming up to those glutes a little bit. So side lunge into a leg lift. Making sure that knee is not going past your toe. Here, chest is staying tall, back is staying tall. Good. We're going to do about 10 here. We're already halfway through, I think. <laughs> oh, boy. I start talking and, like, counting and talking. If you can do that, you're amazing, just so you know. One more. Good. Other side. Hopefully you felt that glute warming up. Other direction. Again, knee not going past your toe. Putting the weight in your heel. Mostly of that leg that you're, you're lunging to. Chest tall. You have five more. Four. Good job. Three. Two. And... One, good. Okay, now we got to warm up to your back just a little bit. So we're going to put those <clears throat> hands up like goal posts. Squeeze your glutes, knees slightly bent. All I want you to do is just squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Just trying to warm up to your back a little bit here. Activate those muscles. And doing good. Hopefully your heart rate's starting to come up a little bit too. Because that's the goal. Awesome. Well, we're going to be working back of the body today. And it's going to be very effective. One more. Good. All right. We got to keep it under 30 minutes. So let's start with a march. Getting that heart rate up just a little bit more. Or a jog. So for cardio today, we're just going to do skaters. And that will get your glutes pretty good. So a skater is a step behind or a hop. Now the, the deeper you go, the more it's going to work through your glute, all right? But the, more, the deeper you go, the more your lower back has to work. So if you have lower back pain, just be aware of how, how your lower back is feeling a lot today because we're working back of the body, okay? So we're going to start with 30 seconds of skaters. Ready? Here we go. So you can step or you can hop. Just please keep your chest up. You don't want to be bending here. You want to keep your chest chest tall. Look at, let me see those pretty eyeballs of yours. Belly button is fine. That will help protect your lower back too. Good. You already have, you only have 10 seconds left. Lots of cardio today with what we're doing. And you're done. Okay, grabbing those dumbbells, we're gonna go straight into bent over flies. So, bracing uh, belly button to spine and bracing with your core. So your, your back is nice and tall. All you're going to do is fly the dumbbells towards your hips. So your chest is uh, parallel to the floor or almost parallel. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Excellent. <sighs> Belly button is fine here. You have 10, 9, 8, doing good. 7, 6, having fun yet. 5, <laughs> 4, hopefully feeling your back working. 2, and done. Great. we shake it out a little bit. We're going to do some punches with your dumbbells. Now, if your dumbbells feel too heavy, it's okay to go to a lighter one, or you can just drop and not use any. Ready? So grabbing those dumbbells, we're going to start with a punch to the floor. So alternating right, right hand, left knee, left hand, right knee. Belly button, hold the spine here. 
So keep that back tall. You're going to feel a lot of core working, especially if you're pulling that belly button to your spine. And it probably feels like you're working bicep and shoulder, but I promise you're also working back. Okay. So those knees are slightly bent. Good. Belly button to spine here. Keep the chest up. That'll work your back. Good, good, good. 10, 9, 8, 5, 4, 2, and done. A little break. And then we're going to go to punches overhead. And that'll work your back more. Okay, ready? Punch across. Across. Keep that core tight. And if this is too, if your weight's too heavy or it's too challenging, just drop and do body weight. But pretend you're punching really hard objects so that you tense your muscles and you still get that back work. Doing good. 10, 9, 8, almost there. 5, hopefully you feel your core working. 3, 2, done. Good. Turn those down. Let's shake it out. Let's keep that heart rate up. So we're going to go to skaters. Ready? 30 seconds. Here we go. Back tall, chest up. Oh, who likes those punches? They're so effective. Good job. Remember, the, the more you kick behind, the more that glute's going to work. And you probably won't feel your glute today, but you'll feel it tomorrow because it's those one of those exercises that just keeps on giving. And you're done. Okay, let's go to hamstring. Dumbbells again. We're going to go to deadlift. So pull on shoulders down and back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You're just going to stick, stick those hips out. And knees are slightly bent. You do not want to lock your knees out. So if you struggle, if you feel tons of lower back here, Drop your weight and put your hands on your hips and focus on trying to send your hips back because you want a straight line from your head to your tailbone. I see it so much when people are doing deadlifts. They have, they round their shoulders and it goes straight to their lower back. So pull your shoulder blades together and stick those hips out. You should be feeling really good work through those hamstrings, like a nice little stretch. Doing good. Belly button is fine. will help protect that lower back. Excellent. And four, three, good. Two, and one. Okay, now, a little bit more hamstring. You can do no dumbbells. You can do one dumbbell. It's up to you. But we're going to do a single leg. So starting on that left foot, front left knee slightly bent. Toe down if you want. You don't have to, but lots of balance. All you're going to do is just dip, go to an airplane and come back up. So this is going to work hamstring and glute, pulling those shoulders back, abs engaged. So if it's a challenge and you want to hold on to a chair or a wall with just one dumbbell, go ahead. If it's one dumbbell, put that dumbbell in your right hand because that'll help keep those hips square to the floor, which is what you want. We're going to do four more here, okay? You don't have to do any dumbbells. You can just do body weight. Driving the weight through the heel of the stationary leg. And one more, I think. <laughs> Good. Whew, almost fell over. Okay, switching legs. If you use two dumbbells on the first leg, you should use two so that you're not creating a muscle imbalance. Ready? Here we go. Straight leg. Or, I mean, your, your standing leg is slightly bent. Belly button to spine. Chest tall, shoulder blades pulled together so you're not rounding through your upper back. No rounding in the upper back allowed, guys. That'll protect your lower back. Belly button spine. Who's loving the balance challenge? 
you're working that standing leg. So keep it slightly bent, please, so it doesn't go to behind your knee. You're doing good. Hey, hamstrings. We have four more. Here's four. Belly button is fine still. Three, I know it's getting tired. Two, you might be feeling it into your glutes, and that's a good thing. And one. Good. Okay, we got to shake it out with some, some skaters. Ready, ready, 30 seconds. And here we go. Back tall. <laughs> oh, it's so great. We're going to get a, a little bit of tricep really fast. Then we're going to get some core, and then we stretch. So we're almost done. I want to keep it about 30 minutes or less for you because I know you're busy. Almost done. Here's four, three, two, and done. Okay. Triceps. Just one dumbbell, unless you want to do two. We're going to do those overhead extensions. I'll show you what it is. Um, belly button is fine. Tuck those hips. Knees bent, and you're just going to tap your shoulder blades with your dumbbells. So you want to keep them. You don't want your elbows going out wide. So if you need to cross your dumbbells to protect that shoulder blade or this, the rotator cuff, please do. So you can just do one dumbbell, holding on to the head of it, because the goal is to tap. Tap between those shoulder blades so that you can get full range of motion. Okay. Good, good, good. <laughs> oh, boy. Almost done. <sighs> Hopefully you're feeling some good triceps right now. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. You're done with your dumbbells. Let's go to bird dog on the floor. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Extend your right leg and your left arm. We're gonna just lift and hold. Belly bend is fine, so we're gonna do a 30 second hold here. And so you're, you're Ear should be by your shoulder, your shoulder by your ear. If this is too much on your wrist, you can always go to a fist or you can hold on to a dumbbell. But you're doing good. Hips square, you don't want a lot of tipping, so you keep those hips parallel to the floor. Almost there. Okay, so hopefully you're starting to feel some glutes working now. And now we're gonna tap it. So tap the floor and come up. We're not putting an arch in your lower back. We're keeping that lower back stationary. Movement comes from your glute, not your, your hips. Great job. Hey, hey, you're also probably feeling some hamstring too, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, six, five, four, three, belly button, that's fine, two, and one, good. Okay, child's pose, you're leaning to the side if you need to, stretch out that glute, and then we get to switch sides. All right, hands under knees. I'm sorry, hands under shoulders, hips and un knees under hips. Let's go other side. Belly button is fine. Good, shoulder by ear. 30 second hold before we start adding movement. All right, hopefully your heart rate's coming down just a little, but you're working lots of good balance here. This is good for that core, especially if you're focusing on tightening up your core a lot. You're going to get some good core work here. Okay, now we're going to start tapping in three, two, one. So now we're going to tap the floor and come up. Tap. Belly button spine. Good. Back of the head towards the ceiling so we don't look like we have a chicken neck. <laughs> so much to remember. Tighten up that core. You're doing so good. Here's four, three, Two, and done. Good. If you need to stretch out that glute a little bit, 
me to the side. Okay. Next, <clears throat> we're gonna go to the floor and do some swimmers. So on your stomach, swimmers. Back of the head is pushed toward the ceiling. So you're not, um, I want you to try to fight some of the tech neck that happens in our society. So back of the head pushed toward the ceiling. All we're gonna do is lift right arm and left leg, and then come back down, and then switch left arm and right leg. Right arm left, left arm right. So we're just gonna alternate sides, trying to lift that leg as high as you can off the floor. Good, nice and slow and controlled here. Trying to get that arm as high as you can too. At least bicep to ear, at least that, or a little bit higher. So you're really extending through the arm and the leg. Good. I know you're feeling some lower back. We're working that lower back. We're trying to strengthen it without causing pain. If you feel any pain, then take a little break, go into a child's pose and come back into it. But we're gonna go here, stay here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, almost done, six, five, you're doing so good, four, three, two, and done. Excellent, now we go to a child's pose. So sitting those hips on your heels, Relax that lower back just a little bit. So we have one more core from the front side, and then we will stretch. So back onto your stomach. We're going to go to a Superman. So now it's double arm and double leg. So back of the head, push toward the ceiling. Eyeballs looking at your mat. I'm gonna lift and hold 30 seconds here. Trying to get your ears by, or your biceps by your ears. Knees as high off the floor as you can. So if this is too hard, just focus on your legs, uh, arms, and drop your legs. Or if you want to just drop your up your arms and only focus on your legs, you can do that too. Here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Okay, good. Child's pose again. All right, so if that is challenging, that Superman is challenging for you, which I understand if it is because it's a challenging exercise, then this next one we're gonna do one more time. Like I was saying, I only want you to focus on lifting your upper body or your lower body and start just trying to build strength a little bit at a time because you can do this every day and just do one set and start getting stronger a little by little, little, little at a time, okay? So one more time, you choose what you want to do, double arm, double leg, or just arms, or just legs. Ready? Here we go. 30 seconds. So if you're just trying to get your arms and legs as high off the mat as you can. Awesome. Okay. Halfway done. And here's 10, nine, eyes at your mat, not at the wall in front of you. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Great, child's pose. Sit in those hips on your heels and then we will stretch. Excellent, okay. Now, we're gonna walk, since we're in child's pose, I want you to walk your hands to the left. Anchor your right wrist with your left hand. Shift your weight to the right. So you're gonna get a big stretch down your right side. Good, and now, walking those hands to the right. Anchor your left wrist with your right hand. Shift your weight to the left.
Excellent. Okay, now we're going to a hamstring stretch. So we're going to kick. Now, if, if this is too much to kneel, you can always lay on your back and do your hamstring stretch that way. But we're going to kneel, extend your right foot out, slight bend in your right knee, and then lean forward. And you're going to get a nice stretch in that right hamstring. Oh, that feels nice, huh? <laughs> Good. Four, three, two, and one. We'll switch legs, extend that left leg out, slight bend in that left knee as you lean forward. Different ways to stretch here, but you can always go to your back and just bring your leg up and hamstring stretch that way too. Here's four. Three, two, and done. Okay, now we got to get those glutes. So let's go to a seated position and a little bit different glute stretch here. So we're going to just curl one leg under and then stack your knees as much as you can. And it's going to be a nice, big, deep glute stretch, hip stretch for you. So we're almost just past the 25 minute mark. So we're almost done. Good job. Hopefully you've got some endorphins. You feel a little bit better, feel a little bit more energized. Okay, let's switch legs. Stack in those knees. And if you don't feel this stretch, just lean forward a little bit more and then you will. It's a magical stretch. <laughs> it's amazing how just a little change, a shift in how your upper body is. And you're like, oh, okay, there, there it is. Found it. Here's four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Let's go to a uh, cat cow. So hands and knees. I'm just going to arch that back into a cat. Try to pull those shoulder blades to, apart. Good. And now we're going to go into a cow, looking up at the ceiling. A little ab stretch here, maybe even lower back. Round those hips one more time into a cat. Good, and now cow. And we're gonna go to a downward dog. So pushing into those heels. Stretching those calves, walk those feet to the hands, slowly stand it up. And now we're going to go to a shoulder stretch because we did get a tiny bit of rear delt when we were doing the punches and the flies. Other side. Oh, that was nice. And let's go to a tricep stretch because we got those today. So if there's a specific workout, like um, something that you're interested in, like you want a lot for cardio, other side, or more strength for a certain muscle group, you have mobility issues through a certain muscle group or joint, let me know and we'll do a video for it. So let's go upper back stretch because we got that there. I'm here for you guys. So please, I've been a trainer for over a decade. So I have some experience and I've helped a lot of people who are just getting into it. I'm, so I'm here for you. Let me know what you need. Deep breath in. Exhale, one more. If you want like 40 minute ones or 50 minute ones, let me know. Hey, great job. Thanks for being here. High five and I'll see you at the next workout. Hey, if you got value out of this video, please subscribe and also comment below what else you'd like to see because this channel is for you, to help you be better in your everyday life. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends about it and we'll see you on the next video.